home for the past two days and we leave tomorrow and we're about to do something that um, is a little bit out of our comfort zone. We aren't the biggest like backpackers, hikers kind of people. You guys probably have seen by now. We barely ever go backpacking but we're, we're about to it. go on a three month trip and two months of that is going to be spent in South America. So yes, we're going to South America. <laughs> And we're gonna be backpacking and for the past two days we've been working out what we want to pack And I've just put it out all over the floor because I want to show a packing video for you guys to uh, Show you that you can go backpacking on a budget because we have learned a few things over the last two days But this is everything we're bringing. I feel like it looks really big when you see it on the floor, Steve It does. Like is this too much? This is mine and Steven's But um, yeah, we're gonna show you everything we are bringing on our next trip. Very exciting! Leave tonight. We're crazy. Remember we came home from Japan three days China home three days South America. Let's do it. We're addicted. So the first thing we did is that we decided to be like every other backpacker and we went to Anaconda thinking that that's where we're going to find our backpacks until we saw the price tag. So instead we jumped onto eBay and found these for $30. They're pretty they good. are pretty much a dupe of what we saw in the um, in the store and once I filled it up I'll show you uh, if everything fits inside. It's like but 90 litres. Yeah, no, oh yeah, it's a 90 litre bag. I don't know, it looked just like the one that we saw so we decided to get it so hopefully this one's good. Alright, next bag is a little camera bag because I've been using backpacks and I've been finding that it's too annoying to get the camera out to film moments. So you I like decided, having a side bag. Yeah, so this is going to hold my lens and my body and like maybe a few... <laughs> <laughs> and a few different things as well. Um, we got this from... It's from a website called No More Ugly Bags, I think. No More Ugly Bags! I think it's like waterproof and stuff, so that's what Steven's going to be using to hold his camera and his lenses and stuff while we are travelling. Alright, so we are doing the Inca Trail. So it means three nights, four days of camping, no electricity, no anything. So in case it rains, we decided to get a 25 litre dry bag so it keeps everything dry and it turns into a backpack which I thought was quite good. That was like the reason we wanted to get it is because you can actually wear it as a backpack so we can put all our stuff in it and easily wear it as a backpack. And then for my bag it isn't a wet proof bag so what I found on eBay are these, they look like shower caps so <laughs> but what you do is you can put them around your bag and then it makes it into kind of a dry bag I guess. So I got two of those so we could use those while we were trekking. A huge tip is that you should definitely get yourself some packing cubes. So we're going to be putting all our clothes inside these cubes and then putting it into the backpack. So it means that if I just say I need to get my shorts, I can just grab my short bag. It makes it way easier. So definitely get yeah. yourself some packing cubes. Because let's be honest, backpacks are annoying because you're like, you get it from the top and you're trying to go through everything, but at least if you're like, I just need to get the shirts and yeah. then I can go through the shirts. Yeah, Super it's easy. way... Yeah. <laughs> so that's all our bags that we're bringing to South America. So with clothes, this is probably the hardest packing we've ever done because there's going to be days where we're going to be in very cold, wet conditions, cold, dry conditions, really hot days, really hot, rainy days. So we've tried to pack for that. And also we've packed a lot of neutral colours so we could mix and match everything we pretty much are packing and wear anything with everything. First up is tops. So I have 10 tops. I have 4 tops. What? <laughs> no, but I also have 3 singlets. 7. I still have too many. Yeah, you still have too <laughs> many but that's fine. Alrighty, so I'm bringing 4 shorts. I've got 1 hiking, 1 board shorts and 2 casuals. And I'm only bringing 1 pair of shorts but that's because if it's a hot day I way prefer to bring dresses. So I'm bringing three dresses. I've got, I try to choose like South American kind of colors. So I've got like a red one, a yellow one, and a black one. So these will be what I wear if it's like a summer's day or if we're going out at night. For pants, I'm bringing a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans. And I've got my brown ones on and my... He's gonna bring these black ones. Because I want to wear them on the plane. And then I'm also gonna bring some tights for when we're doing hiking and stuff. So I've got a black pair of tights, a grey pair of tights, and then three quarter tights, which I'll probably wear a lot. And we're also gonna be bringing a pair of long johns each. So if it gets really cold, we're gonna wear those underneath our jeans or underneath our leggings. To it's all about layers. Yeah, definitely. In South America, it's all about layers. And I was Googling and a lot of people say that you should go and buy that Merlot wool or something. But super expensive. We ain't got that Merlot wool money. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll just wear four pairs of tights and then like take them off as the day goes on if I get hot. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to see how that By goes. By the way, who knew South America was so cold? Like, <laughs> literally, when we're going to the salt flats, you don't realise when people are taking pictures, it's like they're in the snow. Yeah. It's cold. So yeah, didn't know that about South America. For thin jumpers, I'm bringing two. I'm bringing a black one and a grey one. Because uh, that's the layer thing again. I'm just bringing the one. I'm not a huge um, jumper person. 
I've also packed myself a kind of hiking jacket that I can put on when it's cold kind of again for layers so it's like more of a sports material so I'll wear this one when I'm hiking and I realize you don't have anything like this. We'll see how I go. Okay. <laughs> well I'm gonna be you can borrow mine if okay. you get cold. <laughs> I feel like I'm bringing way more jackets than you because then I'm Having also bringing I guess but are you gonna be cold like I think when, <laughs> when filming this video I've realized I'm like do you need more jackets but I'm also bringing like this um kind of Fashion, flannel, flannel, flannel tied up in the cool, which is walking the Inca trap. Well, sometimes be this is more maybe for photos. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then next we have like the warmer jackets. So you've got this cool little denim number. Yeah, I'm bringing a denim jacket again. This is probably more for the photos, just because I really liked this jacket and it was on sale. So I'm bringing a denim jacket, and then I'm bringing a really thick black jacket because again, we went into what was the store? Kathmandu? Is that it? Uh, Kathmandu. Kathmandu, and we went and looked at jackets and they were like over $400. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna wear a lot of jumpers, wear my big thick black bomber jacket and hope for the best because $400 for a jacket. Kathmandu, if you watch this. What? Send us a jacket. But <laughs> oh in gosh. the meantime, I've got my old just I didn't need a new one. I'm pretty sure I wore this in Alaska. So this will be your jacket that you put under your one jumper. I'm packing more jumpers for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then to end it all is uh, we need some rain jackets just to put on top of it all. So this was $20 from Big W and it's super thin and light. So we're hoping that we can just put it over the top of anything we're wearing to keep us dry. Also, I'm pretty sure they sell ponchos for like $3, you know, the so big we'll ponchos. So we'll get a poncho as well. So but that's, we'll I mean, that. if it rains. Yeah, it, could. It, it probably will. Yeah. Knowing our luck, it'll rain. <laughs> Guys, it's hailing! <laughs> what? But hopefully these will come in handy. <laughs> We're also bringing beanies, but I couldn't choose, so I'm bringing two. So I've got this pink one and then this brown one. It's I got a red one, red one, and we kind of just got it from a center store. Yeah, it's like a little cheap store. That sold gloves. Well, this one was actually not that cheap. This one I splurged because I really liked it. So this was like $20, but then this one was like $4, so that's why I decided to get both. Oh, and we also are bringing gloves, and we don't I've got really... fingerless gloves. Yeah, Where's I got my the same. One? Oh yeah, fingerless gloves. So then I can operate the camera because yeah. it's really we're not going to snow. I don't think I'm going to freeze my hands off, or will I? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I'm also bringing a hat because lately I've been loving my hats, and I tried to find one that kind of went with the winter feel as well as the summer feel. So I got this one. It's like um. Put it on. It's like knitted kind of material. It's great. Sports girl. I really like it. It was on sale for four dollars. That's good. A good That's deal. a bargain. We're all about the bargains, clearly. With undies, bras, and socks, I always feel like you can never not pack enough. So we packed a lot. So we have four hiking socks that we'll use when we're doing like the big hikes and stuff like that. And literally, it keeps the moisture out. It's going to help you with blisters. You need hiking socks. Yes, yeah, so we bought like fancy hiking socks, but then when it comes to other socks, we're just bringing like a bunch. Because yeah, sometimes you're. We pretty much learn how to wash anywhere. Bath. Yeah. Sink. We can wash anywhere. And that is why I always bring bralettes, not proper bras, like I'll show you. So I'm packing like four of them. And these are super lightweight, so they don't use up a lot in your bag, but also they're really, really easy to pack in the sink. Um, they're really, really easy to wash in the sink. So I always pack bralettes, a one piece bikini. Because I think we're doing hot um, hot springs. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Lots Ooh. of lots of undies. We always pay, pack way too many undies. And I'm also packing three, packing three sports bras. I have, thanks to Jess's purchase, me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday underwear. Backstory, so one time he asked that he needed undies while I was at the shop, so I was like, sure, and bought him like these really colourful undies and didn't realise that on the strip they said the day of the week. So those are his travelling undies now. I'm also going to be bringing a scarf, which I'll bring when we're like on the buses and stuff, because sometimes it gets really cold on the buses. Or on the plane. This again was on sale because it is coming to summer here in in Australia, which made it really easy to shop for. So I bought this grey scarf. Where and Stephen, I'm from Sports Girl. I asked Stephen if he wanted me to get him one, but he said no. He's not a scarf man. Maybe I'll just find a local. Like oh, a local maybe you Peruvian can buy like from Lama Wall. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Peru a free scarf, so okay, he will be getting a scarf soon. And we might get a poncho, like, not, yeah. the, not the wet ponchos, but like, you know, the cool Peru, Peru poncho. poncho. I want to get that as well. Yeah. So for shoes, we are bringing our sport shoes. Our hiking shoes, and don't buy new shoes because, like, you want them to be worn in, especially if you're doing the trip that we're doing, where we're going straight into the Inca Trail. Yeah. You're gonna not, you're, you're, you're just gonna get blisters, so. Again, we weren't sure if we should buy hiking shoes, because if I bought them now, because I don't own any, I was scared they were gonna give me blisters, so I'm deciding just to wear my Nikes. So I will um, give you guys feedback if Nikes are okay for the Inca Trail. I, yeah. hope, I hope they are. Plus, who wants to take hiking boots? We're going travelling, and we're not coming home for three months. That's gonna be so annoying Imagine to like. Imagine carrying hiking boots around. Yeah. 
I hope I'm not halfway through the Inca Trail though going, what? But I wish I had my hiking boot. <laughs> we'll see. Then we're also bringing walking shoes, which um, are very old, but I di again, I didn't want to buy new ones that hurt my feet. I'm pretty sure yours are old as well. Yeah, mine are. I bought these for the Greece trip. and <laughs> we're still, They're still so going strong. Yeah. And then we also bought a couple of thongs because we might be in the, you know, showers or and like... Stuff. Or I, also, I was thinking after a long day of hiking, you kind of want to take your shoes off and then just put a pair of thongs on. Breathe. We're also bringing some dry towels. I actually got these off eBay and they're super cheap and they come in like a little container thing. So they're easy to travel with. And then, you, yeah, they dry super quick. Yeah, dry, quick dry towels. We're also going to be camping and they don't provide pillows. So what we're doing is we're going to be bringing pillowcases and then filling it up with clothes because we don't want to carry a pillow with us for three months. So that is our little hack on uh, if you want to make your own pillow while traveling. Yeah, we learned that in Alaska because we were not prepared for that trip either. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking bottles, locks. So I'm going to be bringing some makeup. And toiletry. So we've got like shampoo, razors, conditioner, Deodorant. kind of basics. Some dry shampoo, Shaders, toothbrush, toothpaste, you know. A sunscreen and mosquito repellent. Oh yes. In South America, you need to make sure you bring tropical strength air guard because you don't want to get um, sick by the mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. You, if you go into a tropical place, yeah, you don't want that. No, and also I definitely recommend getting 50 plus sunscreen. We use Banana Boat. Oh, banana. Um, banana Boat. Oh, banana Boat. Waterproof band-aids? What are these again? We bought like energy dissolvable, kind of like Barocca. That's the brand though. That's so you put these in your water and, and they dissolve. Up. And then you drink it and then it gives you energy or if you're losing like salts or iron, they help you, especially when you are hiking. So we got one, this one has vitamin, this is meant to have vitamin B energy and it's apricot and peach flavors. This is iron, vitamin C, iron again and raspberry flavored. Yeah, because we don't eat meat that much. So we decided to get like an irony one as well. So we got these. Our multivitamins. <laughs> Take your vitamins. Hand, Hand sanitizer. sanitizer. Electrolyte tablets. Again, these will help you when you are hiking and sweating a lot and losing salt and losing electrolytes, I guess. Make sure you also get your yellow fever vaccination, which was uh, really fun, wasn't it? Because like some... <laughs> I hate needles. Seriously. Yeah, some countries won't let you in. I can't remember exactly which one. Yeah. I'll put it up here. But if you don't have this vaccination, you can't get into the country. Also, we're going to another country, which we'll save to tell you that. And if they know we were in South America, they may not let us in. So you need this to show it. And it's yellow fever, I'm pretty oh, sure. Yeah, I don't want, want to get, to get yellow fever. It costs 85 Australian dollars to get the vaccination. And they said it lasts for like over 10 years. So it's worth just getting the getting the vaccination. And we're not doing the malaria pills because we've just heard there's so many side effects from taking the malaria pills, like hallucinations and all that, that yeah. we've been in South Africa and we've been in malaria areas and we've been fine. But of course, don't take our advice on that stuff. Speak to your doctor. Yeah, just we, just, but we just spray a lot of insect repellent on us yeah. and hope for the best. And just in case you <laughs> had some wet clothes, a couple of plastic bags, but take them with you, like properly dispose of them. But yeah, that stops any wet. Yeah, if we get like a downpour on our clothes, we just chuck them in those so it doesn't wet all our stuff in our bag. You also need sunnies. Where's your sunnies? Oh, they're not here. I also like to bring this little mini hair straightener so it doesn't use up too much space, but I can do my hair if I want to because I curl my hair with a straightener as well as straighten my hair. Don't worry, this is all uh, natural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's pack. I really hope that we um, have it over back. <laughs> I totally forgot as well. We are bringing a lot of warm pajamas for when we go camping. Show the cute ones. All right, so first of all, we bought these ones for the plane. How comfy are these? And we have and matching. We also brought, I also got like things like these. It's cute. Okay, very quickly, I just want to do a flat lay to show you all the camera gear and equipment that I'm taking to South America. Alrighty, that is everything I'm bringing with me. So my main camera, my Sony with my 16 to 35. I also have my 50 mil here and I have my zoom 24 to 240. G7X, I got my new Gigabyte Aero 15, Jess's MacBook Pro. Got three hard drives, the DJI Mavic Pro with two batteries. We also got two of these like external battery chargers. Five batteries for the Sony, the GoPro. We've got power adapters so we can charge. Three hard drives, one is for backup and then two for work. And then these are the cases I store my cables in. And this is another case for storing more cables. But yes, let's put them in. 
Now that everything's in the packing cubes, it actually doesn't look like too much stuff. This is my pile. This is Steven's. I did throw in a couple extra jumpers for him. Because after filming that video, I realized that Steven is going to be much colder than me. Um, yeah, so now let's see how they go fitting in the bags. Guys, it fit. Here's backpack, Steve. Let's do, do it. Do a spin. Now we need to weigh it. <laughs> let's see how much it is. Oh my gosh, you're going to fall over. Yeah, <laughs> Only 15 kilos. I'm good. actually shocked. These bags, you can really tell how big they are when Cleo puts them on. They look like ridiculously big on the side. Look at how big it is. So heavy. <laughs> it's only 15 kilos. That's heavy. Do you reckon, do you reckon that's too much? I don't know. Oh, Steve's gonna struggle. <laughs> a little boxes on the hillside. A little boxes made ticky tacky. Little boxes.